Hello everyone. Let us continue the questions from exercise 1.4, chapter number 1, real numbers from 10th grade NCRT book. The first question is, without actually performing the long division, state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Without doing the division, we need to find out whether these rational numbers will have a terminating or non-terminating decimal expansion. So for that, we know that according to theorem 1.6, we say that the rational number of the form P by Q, if Q, the denominator, have the prime factorization of the form 2 power n into 5 power m, then we can say that it is having terminating decimal expansion. Otherwise, according to theorem 1.7, we can say that if Q does not have the terminating, the prime factorization is not having the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, then we can say it is non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Right? So, now we are going to find out every denominator of these questions will be can be written in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m or not. If they can be written in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m, then it, we can say it is terminating decimal expansion. If sometimes we cannot write it in the form, the denominator cannot be written in the form of no, 2 power n into 5 power m, then we can say it is non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So, let us see questions one by one. The first one is 13 by 3125. Now, let us take this question on the whiteboard. 13 by 3125. By doing prime factorization for the denominator, we obtain that 3125 as 5 power 5. Here, denominator is 5 power 5. So, this denominator is of the form 2 power n into 5 power m, where n is equal to 0 because we do not find any prime factor for 2. So, n is equal to 0 and m is equal to 1, 5 because here m is 5, 5 power 5. So, now we can say that the denominator is of the form 2 power n into 5 power m. So, this rational number 13 by 3125 is a terminating decimal expansion have we read is not have a terminating decimal expansion okay let us see the second question the second question is 17 by 8 the second question is 17 by 8 so let us go to the second question 17 by 8 even this 17 by 8 also can be written as take the denominator and do the prime factorization. So, we will get 8 as 2 power 3. Here you do not find a prime factorization for 5 but there is a prime factors of 2. So, we can write this denominator is 2 power 3 which is of the form 2 power n into 5 power m where n is equal to 3 and m is equal to 0 because we do not find any prime factor of 5. So, n is equal to 3 and m is equal to 0. Anyhow, this is of the form 2 power n into 5 power m. So, we can say that 17 by 8 have a terminating decimal expansion. We can write it as it, it is having a terminating decimal expansion. So, this is how we will write for second question. Let us go to the third question. What is the third question? 64 by 455. 64 by 455. Let us go to the third question. 64 by 455. Here, the denominator you observe. We, if you do the prime factorization for denominator, you will get 5 times 7 times 13. Where you observe the denominator is 5 into 7 into 13, which is not in the form, which is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. As we do not find any prime factors of 2 or, but there is a 5 factor, but 2 is not there. So, we should not have other than 2 and 5. Either wholly 5 it can have or only 2 also you can have. But other than 2 and 5, 2 both also can be have. 2 and 5 both. But you should not have other than 2 and 5. 
either it contain totally five, two factors or it contain totally five factors but it should not contain other than that two and five so as yes, it is having five seven and thirteen also this is not in the form of two power n into five power n so according to theorem 1.7 we can say that the rational number 64 by 455 is having a non terminating repeating decimal expansion this is your third question okay like this come to the question number 4 the question number 4 is 15 by 1600 let's go to the whiteboard fourth bit 15 by 1600 1600 so this also can be written in the form of uh, 15 by actually 2 power 6 into 5 power 2 if you do prime factorization for 1600 you will get 2 power 6 into 5 power 2 where this 15 can be cancelled with one of the 5 here down so I will write 15 as 3 into 5 and denominator 2 power 6 into 5 power 2 where 1 5 is cancelled and 1 5 is left in the denominator so 3 by 2 power 6 into 5 power 1 so now the denominator is 2 power 6 into 5 power 1 where it is of the form 2 power n into 5 power m. So, where n is equal to 6, m is equal to 1. So, it, it can be written in the form of, denominator can be written in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. So, this 5, 15 by 1600 is having a terminating, repeat, terminating decimal expansion. Okay, let us go to the next question. So, the next question is 29 by 343, the fifth question, 29 by 343. Let us go to the whiteboard. Fifth question, 29 by 343. If you do the prime factorization for the denominator, you will get... 343 can be written as 7 cube. 7 times 7 times 7 gives you 343. Now, observe that here denominator is 7 power 3, which is not in the form of, which is not in the form of 2 power n into 3, 5 power n. Because there is no factors of 2 or 5 in this expansion. So, 29 by 343 has non-terminating according to theorem 1.7 non-terminating repeating decimal expansion if it is not having in the power of 2 power n into 5 power m it, uh, it has non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Let us go to question number 5. Let us see the question number 6. 23 by 2 cube into 5 square. Let us go to the whiteboard. 23 by 2 cube into 5 square. Now here the denominator is already in the form of prime factorization. So you need not do any more prime factorization. The factors are already in the form of the denominator is already in the form of 2 power 3 in, so 2 power n into 5 power m where n is equal to 3 and m is equal to 2. So, 23 by 2 cube into 5 square has a terminating decimal expansion. If any denominator is of the form 2 power n into 5 power m, we should say that it has a terminating decimal expansion. So, this is the sixth question. Shall I go to question number 7? The question number 7 is 129 by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5. Okay. Question number 7. Okay. 
129 by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5. So, here you observe the denominator is already in the prime factorization form. You need not do any more prime factorization. So, the denominator is having the expansion of 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5, where along with the factors of 2 and 5, 7 power 5 is also existing. So, if it shows that if there is a factor of 7 power 5 other than 2 and 5, we should say that it is not in the form of 2 power m into 5 power. Only 2 powers and 5 powers should be there or only 2 powers can be there or only 5 powers can be there. But there should not be any other factor containing other than 2 and 5. So, it is also which is not in the form of we should write like which is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power n. So, 129 by 2 square into 5 power 7 into 7 power 5 has non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Right? So, coming to next point, next question. Question number 8, 6 by 15. Let us check that whether it is terminating or non-terminating. Eighth question. 6 by 15. If you do simplest form, they both can be cancelled in 3 table. So, we can write it as 3 2s are and 3 5s are. So, 6 by 15 is same as 2 by 5. Now, you observe the denominator is just 5 which we can write as 5 power 1. So, it is in the form of which is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Even though there is no factor for 2, we should write like n is equal to 0, where n is equal to 0 because there is no 2 factor of 2 and m is equal to 1. Here m is equal to 1. Okay. So, now it is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. So, 6 by 15 has a terminating decimal expansion. Okay, next question, eighth one, ninth one, the question number nine, 35 by 50. Okay, let's go to question number nine, ninth question, 35 by 50. Actually, this is not in simplest form. If you could put it in simplest form, in five table, we get seven, sir, and ten, sir. So, this seven by ten can be written as seven by 2 times 5. So, here the denominator is 2 into 5 which is 2 power 1 into 5 power 1 which is of the form or which is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m where n is equal to 1 and even m is also 1. So, this can be written as this 35 by 50 has a terminal decimal terminating decimal expansion so this is your ninth question let's go to the last question in this last one 77 by 210 let's see Seventy seven by two hundred and ten. We can write it as if you do uh, cancellation in eleven table, sorry, seven table, you can get seven eleven are and seven thirties are. Okay. So next this eleven by thirty can be written as eleven by two into three into two threes are six into five. So two into three into five. Here the denominator is having other than two and five, another extra factor three also. So, 2 power 1, 3 power 1, 5 power 1, but this 3 power 1 is an extra. If it is having other than 2 and 5 factors, it is a non-terminating decimal expansion. So, the denominator is not in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. So, therefore, 77 by 210 has a non-terminating repeating 
decimal expansion. Okay, let's go to the second question in this. Right. Now coming to the question number two from the same exercise. Write down the decimal expansions of those rational numbers in question number one above which have terminating decimal expansions. What do you mean by this question? We have already just now found in question number one which are having terminating decimal expansions, right? So for those rational numbers, now we need to write the actual decimal expansions, right? First, let us go to the first question and uh, let us find out which are having decimal expansions. In this question, we already found previously which are having decimal expansions, uh, terminating decimal expansions, I mean. The first one, 13 by 3125, is also is having a terminating decimal expansion. And 17 by 8 also is having a terminating decimal expansion. And fourth one also, 15 by 1600, also having a terminating decimal expansion. As they all have denominators in the factors form, 2 power n into 5 power m shape. So those we are selecting now. So, even sixth one is also having a terminating decimal expansion, eighth one, 6 by 15, and ninth one also, 35 by 50. So, for these questions, we are now going to find the actual terminating decimal expansions, right? So, let us see what are those. Let us take the first question. The first question, 13 by 3, 1, 2, 5. This is having a terminating decimal expansion. So, how to find that decimal expansion? Either there are two methods. Either you can divide this 13 by 3, 1, 2, 5 by doing, by having a decimal after zeros and continue the division. Or the easiest may, method is just you can take the denominator and find out with what you will multiply to get a uh, multiples of 10 so that it would be easy for us to put it in the form of decimal right so with what if you multiply the denominator you will get the multiples of 10 like 10 or 100 or 1000 10000 such numbers we want to find out so with what you multiply that we get so by observing this 3125 if you multiply by 32 we will get 1 after 6 zeros, that is 10, sorry, you will get 1 lakh, right? So, 13 times 32, so both sides we should multiply by 32. 13 into 32 gives you 416 and 3125, 3, if you multiply by 32, we will get 1 after 4, 5 zeros, so totally 1 lakh. So, if you multiply, uh, you can check it, 3125, if you multiply by 32, we get 1 lakh. So, which we can write easily in the decimal form. First, write the numerator as it is. And here, 5 zeros are there. So, count 5 digits from last, 2, 3, 4, 5 and place a decimal. So, this will be the answer, 0 0.00416. So, this is your first question. So, let us go to the second question. I mean second uh, in the first question that is 17 by 8 we have found that it has having a terminating decimal expansion. So let us see again. So 8 into what gives you any number of multiples of 10 like 10 or 100 or 1000. So obviously 8 into 125 gives you 1000 right. So let us multiply on both sides with 125 so that 17 times 125 you get 2125 and the denominator is obviously 1000. So we can write now Write down the first numerator as it is, putting into the decimal form. And here three digits, three zeros are there. So count three digits and place the decimal. So 2.125 is the decimal expansion of this rational number. Coming to the question number three. In the question number three, I mean, actually it is the fourth question in your first question first sum which is having terminating decimal expansion. So, that is uh, 15 by 1600, right? So, with what you multiply this 1600 to get a multiple of 10? Like, uh, so we can multiply with 625 so that, up also you can multiply with 625 so that the denominator may become uh, 10 lakhs. So, 1 after 6 zeros. 3, 4, 5, 6. 
10 lakhs 1600 if you multiply with 625 you'll get 10 lakhs so which gives you 15 times 625 in the numerator gives you 9375 so now putting into the decimal form we'll get uh, first write 9375 and here denominator contains six zeros so one two three four zero four digits already there place two more digits as zeros and uh, place the decimal so this is your fourth one 15 by 1600 decimal expansion right coming to the question number um, next we found sixth one right so sixth one is having decimal expansion terminating decimal expansion let's go to sixth one the sixth question is um, th 23 by 2 cube into 5 square that is the question so this is obviously having the denominator as a powers of 2 and 5 so it is a having terminating decimal expansion as we said already so coming to the decimal expansion so uh, with what shall we multiply what is this first of all uh, expand this 2 cube into 5 square so 2 cube into 5 square is 8 8 into 25 which is 200 so 23 times by 200 so 23 with what shall we multiply to get a uh, multiple of 10 we'll check so 200 into 5 gives you thousand right into five into five in the numerator also so 23 times five is one one five by 200 into five gives you thousand which is putting in the decimal form right one one five as it is as we have all three zeros and three digits already there we can directly place a decimal here so this is your decimal, decimal expansion of this number now coming to the next bit eighth one is having a terminating decimal let us take eighth one the question is 6 by 15 right 6 by 15 so this 6 by 15 if you do cancellation we will get uh, so 2 3 table 2 3 twos are 3 fives are so we can write it as 2 by 5 so this 5 you can make it as 10 the denominator as 10 by multiplying with 2 up also multiply with the same number 4 by 10 which obviously can write as 0 0.4 done next question number 9 also so it's even question number 9 also having a terminating decimal expansion let us see that the question is 35 by 15 so obviously 50 into 2 gives you 100 we know that so into 2 into 2 multiply up and down so 70 by 100 which gives you 0 0.70 already 70 having two digits two zeros so 70 before a point so actually this 0 has no value you can also write it as 0 0.7 also so this is your question number two now go to the second third question let us see the question number three the following real numbers have decimal expansions as given below in each case decide whether they are rational or not okay and if they are rational and of the form p by q what can you say about the prime factors of q so what is the question you need to check whether this decimal expansion is a rational number or not. If it is a rational and it can be expressed in the form of P by Q, then what can you say about the prime factors of Q? What can you say about the denominator? What can you say about the prime factors of the denominator, right? So, let us see the question 1. So, 43.12345678. So, clearly it does not have any repeating digits. So, it is a clearly terminating decimal expansion right and it can be written in the form of first write it in the form of p by q form so write first total number as numerator without decimal and by point after how many digits are there that many zeros after nine one so nine zeros are there three four five six seven eight nine clearly as nine digits are there we need to put one after nine zeros so this can be written in the form of again same numerator by 10 power 9 that one that number can be written as 10 power 9 as it has nine zeros so this 10 has a prime factors of 2 and 5 so this 10 power 9 can be written as 2 into 2 power 9 into 5 power 9 so same numerator denominator is 2 power 9 into 5 power 9 so as it is expressed in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m shape so the denominator is q the prime factors of q is in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m so it is clearly a terminating 
ex decimal expansion and it is a rational number also as we expressed in the form of p by q shape it is a rational number as well as it is a terminating decimal expansion right that denominator has a prime factors of 2 and 5 okay coming to question number 2 now in this you have 0 0.1201200120001200 1, and so on so clearly as it is repeating number of digits so the digits are repeating but they don't have a particular pattern so we cannot write in the form of recurring it we can call it as non terminating as it is having repeating digits it is a non terminating but non recurring also it is not have a particular pattern of recurring. We can't write it in the form of bar shape. So, it is clearly a non-terminating, non-recurring decimal expansion. So, you can call it as a not a rational number. It is not a rational number. And also, we cannot say there is no denominator also. Because it is no rational number, it is not a rational number and there is no p by q form and there is no denominator clearly. So, it does not come under a rational number. So, coming to question number 3. The third question is 43.12345678 bar. This bar represents this particular block of digits repeating. So, okay, clearly it is a non-terminating because as the digits are repeating. So, it is a non-terminating decimal and as a particular part of digits are repeating we can call it as a recurring decimal so non terminating recurring decimal expansion this is okay this can be expressed in the form of p by q it is a rational number we can express in the form of p by q like 43 first we can write it in the form of a rational number like this 4 3 1 2 3 4 5 shortcut form i'm telling 7, 8, 9 minus the number of digits which are not repeating 43 by how many digits are repeating 9 digits are repeating so 9 nines you write for each digit of recurring we have to write 1 9 so 9 digits are recurring 9 nines you should write so, so this is the numerator as Subtract 89 and 43. 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 89 place we will get uh, 9 minus 3, 6, 8 minus 4, 46 you will get. Okay. By denominator 9s, 9 9s. Nine Clearly, this can be expressed in the form of P by Q. So, it is a rational number. It is a rational number, but it cannot be expressed. The denominator cannot be expressed in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. It is a rational number, but q cannot be expressed in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Other than you have the denominator has 3 also as a factor. So, clearly it is a non-terminating recurring decimal, but it is a rational number as the denominator could not be expressed in the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. Right. So, this is about question number 3 in this exercise. So, let us meet in the next video with the next new chapter.